So I got this new uh, neon sign to fix. And uh, just by uh, uh, observation, I can see that there's this part broken. So um, before I do anything, I'll be bypassing that. That uh, first step would be bypassing that um, broken section. Like I always do. I already exposed the uh, the wires. I took off, I took off the um, rubber covers. Sometimes it takes a little bit of time. I already did that. Did that. So I'm going to uh, connect one one of the. Uh, one of the uh, alligator crypts so to <laughs> to the uh, to one of the electrodes of the broken section and the other one to the other electrode and you can see there's one here there's one here and I'm not disconnecting anything I just exposed the wires and now I can test it. If that's the only thing wrong with the neon sign, then it'll it'll light up. So there it is. It lights up. That means that the transformer is good and everything else is good. Only one broken piece. So now I have to uh, take it out and uh, make a new one. The reason I'm making a new one is because this one is mercury based. It's white. And uh, whenever that, whenever there's a, a mercury unit, I don't repair them. I just make it new. Next step is to draw a pattern. So I just traced the broken uh, neon on paper. There it is. Now, next step is to see and check the diameter of the glass. For that, I use this little thing. It tells me it's nine millimeter. Nine millimeters glass. So now I'm going to cut the excess paper because I don't like. XX paper. So 
So white. I still have to check if it's really white. So. For that. I cut a piece where it's the phosphorus is still good. And then I check it to see if it's white and it's not white. Ha! Huh. It's blue. Look at this. You see? I thought it was white. No, it's blue. No. I have to check if I have blue glass. 